Hello and welcome to another video. Today I want to show you two cables that come with the Ronin S uh, in order to connect a Sony camera to the Ronin S and control the uh, shutter control start and stop uh, record. Uh, one of the cables is uh, this cable here. It's a uh, MCCB on this side a micro USB on the other side connected to the Sony that's what DJI claim but when you connect it to the Sony A7 it's not uh, control the camera it's just show connecting on a screen and there is nothing that come up so I decide to throw this away and use this other cable RSS to IR and what this cable does, it's actually not cable, it's a very hard, um, how should I call it, uh, optic cable that you connect this to the infrared eye on the camera. You put it right in front and it sends a signal from the DJI Ronin S so you can start and stop the record. Now, this is a hard cable. So you need to connect it and then play with it and stretch it and make it stay still. It's not have to be right on the infrared eye, but it need to be about pointed to this direction, so it can send a signal. Now I tried it yesterday, and it wasn't work. And I'm going to show you how to make it work and where exactly you need to connect this cable because it's very tricky. If you just got your Sony A7, uh, you don't know around the camera uh, so much, so you need to know where to point this to. Here I have my Sony A7. Uh, first you need to do is, you need to go in menu, and then you click on this icon, toolbox, number 3, remote control, you need to set it on, and this is the first things you need to do. The second thing is I mount the camera on, right? And then I look right here. It's white spots here that look like some infrared eye that you can point it right in front of it and then it's gonna send a signal. But believe it or not, this is not <laughs> the infrared eye. The infrared eye on the Sony A7 it's right here. So if you point it to this direction about like this, you don't need to put it very close, about like this take it under the lens, connect it uh, on the Ronin S it is working. You can start and stop record with this cable. So it's very tricky if you doesn't know around your camera, if you just get your Sony A7 you, this is the most look like uh, infrared point on a camera so you can point it to this but it's give nothing so what you have to do is point it on this black here which is not look like a clear plastic or some eye that you can just point it on but it is so you point it on this, turn on the remote control on your Sony A7 in the menu and there you go. This is the place you need to put it on. Right here. Just so you know. So I am going to mount it now and I'm going to show you how exactly I uh, play around with the cable, around the camera and you should do the same. So this is how you do it, you connect it from this connector right here and then you take the cable around like you see here that's how I do it under the lens direct into this point here not there, down here, just remember. So it's a very hard cable so you can just uh, bend it and maybe make it a little tighter around this area so it's be standing but again it's not have to sit on the infrared uh, uh, window 
but it should be about uh, not so tight into it but a little back and this is how you do this right connect this infrared cable to your Sony A7 once mount on the Ronin S that's it for today I hope you like this video please share like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so as always stay creative and I will see you on my next video thank you for watching bye bye